What's up guys, Justin here from Out of the Basement and today we're going to be taking a look at my entire Star Wars Black Series 6 inch action figure display. This has been a long time coming. I haven't made a video like this since 2020, so it's been three years and it's actually our most popular video on the channel. So I suspect a lot of new people who haven't seen the channel before will be discovering us for the first time. So if you're one of those people, hi, Justin, I'm one half of Out of the Basement. I run this channel with my buddy, Nate, and we talk about mostly the Black Series. We have a weekly show, Figure It Out, on Friday, and we also live stream every Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Before we get into the main display, I have a bit of like FAQ type, like exposition stuff to get out of the way. Number one, I have been collecting the line since 2015 and I am not a completionist. So if there are characters or certain figures missing, there's probably a reason because over the years, I have managed to get the majority of what I want out of the line. There are a few Holy Grail items like the Khan exclusive Thrawn set, but aside from stuff like that, if you see something missing, it's probably just because I don't want it. Two, if you've been keeping up with the live streams, you will know this already, but I did move out. I finally moved out, and with that comes my own figure room. So I'm definitely gonna give you a quick tour of the fig room. It's something I've been super, super excited about, just having an entire room dedicated to the studio and the collection and everything. It's been super convenient. So yeah, guys, it's finally happened if you do, guys don't watch the streams. Yeah. Three, I do not keep my packaging anymore. I know we always get that question. I do not keep my standard Black Series packaging. There are a few things I will keep like the Lucasfilm publishing stuff, but I recently made the decision to recycle almost all of my Black Series packaging. So nowadays, it's just garbage around my toy. Now, let me get behind the camera and give you guys the tour. I am super excited for this. Hit like, subscribe if you are new, and let's just jump into it. Like I said, I have my own fig room, and this is a big life event for me moving out, so I wanted to give you guys a quick room tour. I'll make it quick. On the door, we have the custom-made Star Wars rag wreath made by my mother. On this side of the closet, went with like an open concept type shelf for Lego. Just one shelf for Lego. Pretty much out of it because I have no more room. Limiting myself to one shelf. Then over here in this corner, high exposure status because the window is right there. This is where all of the magic happens with editing, live streaming. This is where my PC is. Went with a corner desk to save space. Do have our boy Max Rebo right there. And real quick, I did want to show you that I did get this Funko Pop sign by Simon Williamson, the puppeteer from Max Rebo at ICCCon. Super fun. We also have the Black Series Darksaber on display. Continuing on this wall, we have two DTOF shelves. And if you have been watching the Lazy Sunday live streams, you'll know what that is. That is the Lazy Sunday Black Series Stormtrooper helmet. We also have the newer Darth Vader Black Series helmet from Kenobi. The Power of the Force Max Rebo plush beanbag thing. And like I said, we got two DTOFs. It essentially goes Friday the 13th horror, more horror. I have not filled out this shelf yet, but I have a pile of shame, so this will be more horror and sci-fi. Then down there, we have our alien stuff, our xenomorphs. On the second DTOF, we have our McFarlane Batman type stuff. Marvel Legends, Spider-Man, big fan. This will eventually be NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, just haven't unboxed them yet. And then down there we have some miscellaneous stuff. Quarter scale Jason. Then when you turn around, this whole wall is Star Wars. So for anyone who's wondering, the Black Series display. These are Billy bookcases from Ikea. Same thing with these glass cabinets. The DTOFs, those are from Ikea. If anyone wants to know this corner shelf, that was like 25 bucks on Amazon. Really good for teams. But we're actually gonna start over here with the few amount of things that I keep on card. We do have Femi Taylor, Ula signature, nice. One of my most prized possessions is Ian McDermott. The Emperor signed the new 40th Return of the Jedi. Black Series card back. We got Admiral Akbar up there from Jeff W. Georgie Boy, 
These are all in figure shields. Shout out to figure shield for sending us some free shields for our figs. Real quick, we got some micro galaxy squadron chases and rares. We got Ahsoka's and then we also have Luke's. And we got a Jawa, the Death Star Commander, the AT-AT Driver, and the TIE Pilot. I don't really like keeping stuff on card, but I don't know. I kind of like how I set that up with bordering the closet. That's a closet door. Get the miscellaneous stuff out of the way. We do have the First Order TIE Fighter, the largest vehicle they've ever done for the line. And then in the corner here, we got Darth Vader's Force Effects lightsaber. Mace Windu's, and then that's also the blade for the Darksaber that I already showed. And of course, an energy sword. I suppose we can start on the corner shelf. My idea with this corner shelf was to focus on teams. So that is why we have Delta Squad right here with Boss, Scorch, Sev. Got him in a nice kneeling pose, and of course, Fixer. Back there, we have the 501st Jet Trooper from GameStop. This is a custom Max Rebo Battalion Legion. This is me. Nate has one and I have one. This was made for us by Disciple806. If you're new to the channel, Max Rebo is pretty much our mascot, so we kind of have that in our channel header. This is another custom from Disciple806. It is the Battlefront 2 Jet Trooper, the classic one. You'll notice the hand is missing. The hand did come off, unfortunately, but I do have it, Disciple, and I will eventually super glue that bad boy back on. I also decided to populate it with some random clones. So we have one of my favorite clones, the just the regular phase one on the 2020 body with the black line. Then we also got the B1 from Republic Commando. Moving on down, we have the Bad Batch. Pretty much got the whole crew. We got Omega, I gotta find her little bow thing. A lot of these figures, some of them aren't posed exactly how I would want them to be just cause I gotta find the accessories, gotta fish out the accessories. So we have Omega, Crosshair, Hunter, Tech back there. We got Echo, Wrecker, Imperial Crosshair, and he is flanked by a couple of the Elite Squad troopers. Then back there we got Admiral Rampart and the Cad Bane from Bad Batch. Look at that grimace. Then down here, this is a little bit of non-Star Wars stuff. It's actually the only instance of non-Star Wars stuff on the shelf, but it just fit the team theme. Because, you know, you got Delta Squad, Bad Batch, you gotta have Noble Team. These are the Jazzware Spartan Collection. Coming down here, one of the lower tier shells, we have two Dark Troopers. Then we also have this Meditation Rock that I 3D printed with Grogu on it. Then we got the Krikna Spider creeping back there. Snowy Mando, that's, what is that? The Maldo Crease And little Grogu with his egg. All right, and you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go left to right, left to right, just to mix it up. But these are two separate Billy bookcases. It was like a two pack on Ikea. So I kinda went OT Rebellion and then, you know, Empire and some other stuff down below. But we gotta start up top with one of the most amazing things the Black Series has ever done. The Snowspeeder. Love that thing and I wish I had a more respectable way to display it, but for now he's just on the top shelf. We have a 3D printed item here from Landspeeder Luke. This is like one of the temple shrines from Jedi Fallen Order. And in there I actually have uh, the Phase 1 Max Rebo helmet from Disciple. Over here we got some Imperial Jump Troopers since it's the top shelf and this is the Empire shelf. These are the Hasbro Pulse flight stands, so I have three of the regular ones. One of the commanders at the ready. This is the Blue Line Scout Trooper with speeder bike. He's got his pistol out ready to blast. So that's what I decided to do with the top shelf. I'm a little shaky because it's actually taller than I am. Then over here, this is one of my favorite shelves for sure. I love the first Star Wars film. I love the cantina scene, so you know I had to get some 3D printing action. But we do have the Black Series Land Speeder, Luke's Land Speeder, with Luke and Obi Wan, the pre photo reel ones that do not look that good. We also have a Tusken Raider back there ready to fight. R5D4 over by the Land Speeder. Then we have a Jawa Hondo with a beer because I just feel like Hondo with a beer belongs in the cantina. Then I 3D printed this. This is from Land Speeder Luke's. STL files that is available on his Patreon if you have a 3D printer. I have six figurines 
and one nail and shield back there. I also 3D printed these two chairs, the table and the light for Han, that's the Power of the Force one with the photo reel. Greedo on the other side. Then we have the bar, since we don't have Wooher, I just put Dr. Evazin and Panda Baba behind the bar, the photo reel Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then we have the Power of the Force, Luke Skywalker with the photo reel, having a drink. Everyone's just having a good time at the cantina. Can't wait to fill this out a bit more. Going on over to the Empire display, we have some original sand troopers. We have the orange and the white pauldron right there. Way back there, this top shelf is gonna be a bit tricky, so just bear with me for the top shelves. This is a custom sort of sand trooper remnant trimmer made for me by Nate. Weathered it himself. The dewback with the gray pauldron, and that dewback is just so sick. Look at that, look at that tongue. Black pauldron sand trooper. I really do need some risers, but we have another orange pauldron sand trooper. We got two of the old stormtroopers back there. I do not like that old stormtrooper body. That's why I have them in the back. That's the pre-photo reel Death Star commander or death squad officer, whatever it is. We have some of those battle damage stormtroopers. That one back there is from the Amazon four pack. And the one on the right is from the Disney store exclusive. Then we have two superior, much superior 2020 stormtroopers. Flanking the man himself, Tarkin. We also have General Veers back there. The Emperor shooting some force lightning. That is an archive emperor actually. And I stole the hands from the deluxe set. The naval trooper that has the photo reel with the amazing, amazing Imperial probe droid. Flanked of course by a snow trooper, an ATAT -AT pilot, another snow trooper. We have the Emperor's astromech droid, forgot the name, I apologize. We have the A New Hope Vader, that's the newer one from about 2017. Another one of the amazing Stormtroopers, the 2020 regular. You'll find that I have these bad boys sprinkled throughout the entire collection. And again, bear with me for the top shelf. We have a uh, Lieutenant Oxizo from the four pack, the Entertainment Earth four pack that is. Then we have a regular TIE pilot. Back there, we have prototype Boba Fett, one of the Jetta Patrol Stormtroopers without the backpack. Emperor's Wrath Darth Vader. I just have no idea what to do with him, so he's just back there. And one of my grail items here, the Shadow Squadron set. I love this figure so much, both the Stormtrooper and the Scout. They are both so cool, and a grail item deserves a nice upfront and center spot. All right, thanks for bearing with me with those top shelves. Not gonna be as shaky anymore. We're on eye level. We got Archive Princess Leia, three of the Rebel Fleet Troopers. Back there we have the originals of the Han, Solo, and Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper disguise. But we also have the Target exclusive Luke where he fell into the garbage compactor. X-Wing Pilot Luke, that is the Archive version. Standing next to Chewbacca, the blue line. Yavin Ceremony Leia looking great with the soft goods. Next to Yavin Ceremony Luke with the metal. The Skywalker Strikes Deluxe Luke with the blast shield over with the force training ball. Pretty cool. C-3PO and the clean R2-D2. This is from the 40th anniversary carded. Then it kind of bleeds into Empire Strikes Back a little bit. Way back there, we have the original Blue Line Han Solo that came with the Tauntaun. We have five, count them, five of the Hoth Rebel Soldiers, one of our favorite Black Series figures. Standing next to Hoth Leia, one of the best Princess Leia figures. And again, seriously, one of my favorite Black Series figures with these Rebel Soldiers. Love all the different variety you can get. Can't forget about Empire Strikes Back Yoda, that's the archive. Way back there we got the Luke and the Wampa. I kind of put like, you know, the pre-photo reel, not as good figures. They usually go in the back, but that is the original Wampa as well with the bloody stains. Then we got D4, Deluxe number 4 with the Luke and Yoda, the new tool. Love that training, Jedi training set. Got Dirty. Dagobah R2-D2, got the snake that came with the Yoda. This Bespin Final Duel Luke Skywalker, that is the 40th anniversary one with the photo reel. Bespin Escape Leia. Bespin Han, one of the best Han Solos. 
and the 40th of Lando with the photo reel. That is the A New Hope and the Empire Strikes Back display. Moving on to the right, we have another Imperial display. This one doesn't really go by movie, but I don't know, it kind of does. I wanted to do like a red theme over here, so way in the back we have the Crimson Stormtrooper from the Entertainment Earth 4-pack, the Inferno Squad agent from Battlefront 2, both of the Purge Troopers right here. This is the Electro Staff one right here, and that's the one that comes with the blaster. Carnor Jax, aka Kirk Hanos, is back there. Rocket Launcher Stormtrooper with just an E-11 and the pauldron. Then way back there we have the Walmart exclusive Shock Trooper. The Inquisitorious, we have the fifth brother. Two of the newer Purge Troopers back there. Third sister. The Grand Inquisitor in all of his egghead glory. The second sister Inquisitor. And this is the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. We got the Emperor on his throne right there. Love that deluxe set. Back here we got two Royal Guards. And then we have the Shadow Guard from the Forces of Evil 4-pack. Kiwi is checking out what I'm doing. What's up, girl? Kiwi, what you doing? Am I playing with toys again? Way back there we have a 3D printed, like... Uh, Return of the Jedi Death Star window, 3D printed that in black. Got the Legends Heir to the Empire, Luke Skywalker. I just threw that one back there to mix things up. Got the Torture Droid. We have a couple of the Gaming Greats Scout Troopers along with the new KX Security Droid. Kind of a GameStop theme back here. We have the Shadow Stormtroopers, the translucent ones from the Force Unleashed. Love that like turquoise translucent plastic on some of that. Then we have the Stormtrooper Commander also from Force Unleashed. Then we have two of the 2020 Stormtroopers. Again, I just like to sprinkle in these guys throughout the display. Admiral Piet there going bounty hunters. We don't need their scum. Then of course we have the bounty hunter display. I love the bounty hunters from Empire Strikes Back. So we got Dengar, IG-88, Boba Fett, Bosk, Forlom, and Zuckus, my personal favorite out of the bunch. Then we have a Return of the Jedi Scout Trooper. I believe this is the Archive one. Also, this Boba Fett is the Archive, but the other ones are original. That is Blue Line Bosk, Blue Line IG-88, and Red and Black Box Dengar. Only one I had to use Archive was for Boba Fett. Now we're coming down even lower, going to shelf down on the left. We have Endor Han. Ewok Village Leia back there. Then we have the Heroes of Endor set with Leia and Luke on the speeder bike. Our Ewok setup, we got Wicket, Tebow, and Paplu. Love our little Ewoks that we got in the Black Series. This 3PO back there is actually the one from Rise of Skywalker. He kind of has the red eyes. Oh, they kind of went away. That's good. Because he's just supposed to stand there as Jabba the Hutt's translator, of course. We got Boosh Leia, that is the original blue line one that's not the archive. Gamorian Guard. Jabba, blue line Jabba himself with orange line slave Leia in all of her glory. Horrible figure, but glad I have it for the display. Salacious B. Crumb. Moving on over, we got Boba Fett, the Return of the Jedi deluxe version. One of the best. Black Series figures. Then we got Bib Fortuna back there alongside Skiff Lando. Love Skiff Guard Lando. Probably the best Lando figure. Another Gamorrean Guard right there. Han and Carbonite. We got Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker as seen in Jabba's Palace. That's like the 2019 Walmart exclusive one. General Lando. Might be a peg warmer, but he's a legend. Way back there, it's kind of dark, but we got Admiral Akbar, Wedge Antilles. And then we kind of have the blue line Darth Vader and blue line sad Luke Skywalker kind of did the final scene there. I really like this shelf because Return of the Jedi is a fantastic film and we have just enough. I mean, we need significantly more, but I like how I can get the Endor, Jabba's Palace, and then like final space battle and final duel. You kind of got those three main scenes going on so i really like that shelf then we have another awesome imperial shelf we have a custom dark trooper from the original battlefront games made by disciple 806 sergeant krill 
Mike from Scar Squadron. Love those two figures. Back there we have some carbonized stormtroopers, the shore trooper and the stormtrooper. Incinerator stormtrooper. Two of the artillery stormtroopers. You guys can probably tell I absolutely love the 2020 body because we got the rocket launcher stormtrooper. Back here we got the flamethrower stormtrooper from Jedi Fallen Order. Then we have a range trooper sent to me by Fig Fury. Shout out to Fig. The Andor Ferrix trooper with a 3D printed shield that I made myself, again from Landspeeder Luke's Files. A Jedi Patrol Stormtrooper standing next to the Imperial Patrol Trooper. That's Han Solo, but I'm just using it as a mud trooper. Love that look. The Range Trooper, Toys R Us exclusive, that's not the Archive. The Mimban Stormtrooper. Then we have a bunch of Scarif Troopers and Death Troopers, along with Director Krennic. What is that? Five Death Troopers with the Sergeant, or the Specialist that came with the three-pack. This is Photoreal Theron. Wanted to flank him with some Death Troopers along with Vader. This is actually the Kenobi Vader. And yeah, like I said, I have two of the privates, one Walmart exclusive, I think maybe two of the archives. I think there's one somewhere else in the display and then a bunch of the blue stripe one. I think those are the commanders. Love the Scarif Stormtroopers. Then down here, we finally start the Clone Wars display. I started with Clone Wars over prequels. I think I prefer the Clone Wars, you know, era content. So I just decided to do Clone Wars. I found this like seasoning tier riser at Marshall's. It's supposed to be for seasonings, but I thought it would work really well for figures. So here we are. We got four archive 501st in a row back there. Two of the Ahsoka Troopers, Arc Trooper Echo, Ahsoka herself from Clone Wars Season 7. Anakin and Captain Rex. Another 501st Archive, because I was just obsessed with those boys. A 501st Jet Trooper, Gaming Greats. Clone Pilot Hawk back there. Followed by two of the Walgreens exclusive 212th Troopers. Commander Cody and the 212th from the Entertainment Earth 4-Pack. Clone Wars Obi-Wan, one of my favorite Black Series figures. Followed by Waxer and Boyle, the AliExpress clones. We got Mace Windu flanked by two of his 187th clone troopers from Walgreens. The Arc Trooper from the 2D series. This is the original Blue Line Yoda that I'm kind of just using it as a prequel Yoda. Eh, it works. That's a clone trooper on the old body from an Amazon 4-pack. Then we got our Coruscant guards. We have the Bad Batch ones. I removed the pauldron on one of them. Commander Fox. The Coruscant guard from the Entertainment Earth 4-pack. Commander Bly and Ayla Sakira. The Toys R Us exclusive Commander Gree, followed by a 13th Battalion clone. And it's kind of hard to see, but I stuck the Kamino clone troopers back there just because we do not have Shock T, which is their respective Jedi General. But that's a pretty cool shelf. I like that one because it's the only one so far that has risers. As you guys can probably tell, I definitely need some sort of riser system for the rest of my shelves. To the right of that, we have the Mandalorian display. Now, don't forget that we also had the 3D printed Grogu Rock and the two Dark Troopers, and then Maldo Crease Mando creeping back there. But, you know, Hasbro focuses a lot on the Mandalorian, as you can tell. This is all just from one show. We have the Offworld Jawa, we got Quill back there, Grief Karga. IG-11, Cara Dune, Q-90, New Republic Security Droid, Din Djarin Beskar Armor, that's the Galaxy Packaging release. We have the deluxe version of the armor, which is awesome because I love the accessories that she comes with. Couple of Grogu's in their respective prams from whatever season it is. Cobb Vanth looking good. I think I already said Paz Vistla right there holding a stack of Beskar, holding a single piece. A couple of Death Watch Warriors flanked by Casca and Axe Woves and Bo-Katan with the Darksaber. So cool. Then we got Muddy Mando Arvala 7. Migs Mayfeld, but I just put the helmet on. I haven't really figured out where I'm gonna pose him because this Migs Mayfeld is significantly better. Throne Room Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. And I just threw in the Death Watch Mando back there. That's actually the Clone Wars version, but hey, it's a Mando and it didn't really fit on the Clone Wars shelf. Seriously, one of the best figures in recent memory is this Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian. Look at that photo reel. HK87 has to lean up against the wall. I have not fixed his feet yet. 
he just cannot stand for anything. We have the Remnant speeder bike back here. Really cool Amazon exclusive from a few years ago. Back here we got the Remnant Stormtrooper. This was sent by an Instagram user like Yoda's Den and then some numbers. I do apologize, but I definitely appreciate you. If it wasn't for a fan sending me that, I would not have got that. I never saw it at Target. We got the client here with his medallion, the tracking fob, and the Camtono. Then we have Moff Gideon with a custom Darksaber. I forget where it's from though, I do apologize. And then flanked by two Dark Troopers. So that is the Mandalorian display. I really like the Mandalorian, especially seasons one and two. Now this is a shelf below the Clone Wars display. And it's kind of unfortunate because the prequels are packed. Like these figures are packed in here. So it's not 100% to my liking, but this is like the main prequel display. And there's even some like Clone Wars type stuff in here too. So we got the Senate Guard from a four pack, Jar Jar Binks, the photo reel Qui-Gon Jinn, along with Padawan Obi-Wan, Darth Maul from the Phantom Menace, that is the archive version. I do not have the original version. And kind of getting into Attack of the Clones, we have Anakin and Padme from Attack of the Clones, along with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Again, I do need risers and I do apologize, it's kind of hard to film the figures that are in the way back. But we do have all of the ranked clones, the regular, captain, commander, we got the Hasbro's version of the lieutenant back there, the sergeant, and then a proper lieutenant, again, customized by Disciple 806. Back there, we do have Mace Windu, Plo Koon, along with his respective general of Commander Wolf. And then we have a couple of the Phase 1 clones on the new 2020 body. I really like those figures, and I like how they're flanking Jango Fett right there. We also have Kit Fisto, and then the kind of a random clone, this the Siege Battalion from the Entertainment Earth 4-pack. We have some Clone wars -y stuff. We got the Maldalorian from Season 7. Or actually, that's technically from like Season 5. Technically, the one they released is not specifically the one from Season 7. And we have the Umbra Arc Trooper, love that design. Archive Anakin with the photo reel. The Walgreens exclusive Clone Commander Obi-Wan, followed by Count Dooku. Definitely an amazing figure with the Count, love that one. Clone Wars Season 7 Maul. Clone Wars Cad Bane. Asajj Ventress. General Grievous, who is standing. Can you guys believe it? He's been standing there for a couple weeks now. Notoriously hard figure to pose. But we got Aura Singh back there too. This is a 3D printed item sent to me by Landspeeder Luke, the Super Battle Droid. Our most wanted figure in the Black Series for sure. And then I got all of my B1 Battle Droids. I believe I have four regular, like from the Phantom Menace. One Geonosis. And I swear I had two heavy. Okay, yeah, there's a heavy right there. And then there's actually a heavy battle droid kneeling i have him in like a kneeling pose it's gonna be hard to see but he's there that is the prequel display it's a cool looking setup for sure but i think the main prequel display is really packed so i'm thinking one of my least favorite shelves unfortunately i'm gonna have to come up with a solution to just give them a little more room to breathe but you know out of the entire display it's the only one where i feel like the shelves are super packed is that specific prequel shelf now we're really getting there to the right of the prequel shelf we kind of have like that in between like in between the prequel era and the original trilogy era starting with jedi fallen order so we have all, every single cal Kestis release we got the regular the deluxe version with the boggling and the different bd1 and the jedi holocron the newer Cal released for Jedi Survivor. Then we have both of the Knight Brothers. This is the Warrior, the yellow one. And then we also have the Archer that comes with a bow but no arrow. A 13th Battalion Clone Trooper, because of course that is Jar Paul's battalion. The Battle Droid, the B1 Battle Droid from Jedi Survivor. This is actually K2SO, but I just use him as a stand-in for a security droid of the first game. Then we have the complete Rebels setup. We got Zeb, Hera, that's actually pre-photo reel Hera. I do not have the photo reel. Ezra, 
I do have the photo reel of Sabine and the photo reel of Kanan. The Sabine back there is pre-photo reel. That's why I have the helmet on and she's just back there. Also gave her a dark saber. That is a custom dark saber. Chopper, of course. And with Thrawn, this is the pre-photo reel Thrawn, but I threw him in the Rebels display and then I gave him the Salamiri from the Heir to the Empire Luke Skywalker. Then we have pre-photo reel Ahsoka Tano from Rebels. So that's kind of the Jedi Fallen Order and Rebels display. And then over here, I kind of have a mashup of Rogue One and Andor since I have been appreciating Rogue One a little more, especially since I loved Andor so much. Easily one of the best live action Disney Plus series that they've done. Got Saw Gerrera, Antoc Merrick, and Galen Erso. The Target exclusive clearance special is back there. We have a Shore Trooper archive that must be the private. That is the archive back there. Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper, again, 2020 body. Another 2020 Imperial Stormtrooper. The AT-ACT pilot, which is a recent pickup actually, that was a Target exclusive back in 2016. Aldani Mission Cassian, such a great figure. Love that Walmart exclusive. The Shore Trooper from Andor, Target exclusive. And then we have another Ferrix Officer. I need to 3D print another shield for that one though. Then again, shout out to Jeff W. He gifted both Nate and I the Andor 2-pack, the Khan exclusive, which comes with B2 EMO. Great looking droid. And Cassian himself. So big shout out to Jeff W for that. That was a great gift. And finally, we are at the bottom left of the shelving. No offense to anyone who likes the sequel trilogy, but for me, uh, they're on the bottom for a reason. More so, I it's a piece of Star Wars history, so I feel like I at least wanted some representation of it. That is why I bother having figures from it. Anyway, we have some of the Praetorian Guards flanking Snoke on his throne. That throne set was pretty cool. Got that from GameStop. And then that Praetorian Guard is from the Forces of Evil 4-pack. This is the newer First Order Stormtrooper with the improved elbows. And I gave him the blaster from the Heavy Battle Droid that, you know, fits the First Order aesthetic. Island Journey Ray, I limited myself to one Ray. I used to have a lot more sequel trilogy figures, but I got rid of a lot. We got that deluxe Kylo that, like, comes with the base and the base connects to the throne. First Order TIE Pilot as well, because don't forget, we actually do have this. That figure is in there. The pilot is in there, like the Special Forces pilot. That Kylo Ren is from the Kmart pack that came with like the snow base, which I still do have, it's just in storage. Kylo Ren from the Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. We have the Sith Trooper. If I will say anything positive about the ST, I really do like Kylo Ren, and I loved Adam Driver's portrayal, so I, I do have a few Kylo Rens. I, I really do like Kylo. Then we have my first Star Wars Black Series figure ever, which is the Toys R Us exclusive Snow Trooper Officer. I got that November 3rd, 2015, on my birthday. Then it kind of bleeds over into a solo set up with Han, Kira, Lando, Vale, L3, and Dryden Voss with his little temperature changing face and got him the blades on there. And uh, with these shells, like the Rebels one with the Andor stuff included, I'm trying to leave more space because I know I'm going to get more figures. So when you're setting up your display, just make sure you give yourself enough space. You don't want to evenly distribute everything because then when it comes to adding a figure, you're going to be the, oh crap, I got to redo the whole collection. So throughout the display, you may have noticed that I just, I leave myself some space. We have the Kenobi setup. I did not really like this series, but that's okay. Just not my cup of tea, but it did yield some cool designs. Like Ewan himself, I, I think that's a cool costume, so I got that. Tibidon Station. And we got Tika with their junk down here. Ned B, I really like that figure. And One Jack, just a cool looking forlom, you know, bounty hunting droid. And finally down here, what this is, it's pretty much a Legends shelf. Also known as stuff where I just wouldn't know where to put it in the main display. So I thought it'd be cool to use the Lucasfilm publishing boxes as like a backdrop on this shelf. This is where all my Legends stuff is gonna go. So we got Jedi Knight, Revan, Darth Nihilus. This is actually the only instance of a head swap in any of my figures, any sort of customizing. 
This is on a Kylo Ren body, just because when I think of Nihilus, I think of tall and imposing. And putting him on that Maul body, that was just incredibly whack. Darth Revan, that is the original release, not the archive. The Legends Maul, with that new torso, really good looking. Infinity's Vader, that stark white, love that so much. The Imperial Senate Guard from The Force Unleashed. Jackson, the rabbit. <laughs> Such a silly figure, but if you guys pick him up, like, he's a great figure. The Jason Aaron comic book version of Princess Leia. Zalbar, Zally Boy, that was a present from Nate. And over here in the corner, we have Jaina Solo. And this speeder bike is actually from the Shadow Squadron's 2-pack, but I prefer just to have the troopers standing up, so I stuck it down there. And lastly, I just wanted to show you some stuff that I own, but I do not display. Now, there are a variety of reasons for that, but it's mainly the fact that they are pre-photo reel and better versions have came out. In some instances, the figure is so bad that I actually refuse to have it in the main display, such as this Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan. But mostly, this is just stuff that have had photo reel updates. Or in Din's case, there's just, you know, too many Din's. Some other figures that I have but I don't display are my holiday stuff. So we have some holiday clones, the Halloween Wookiee, as well as some of the Christmas troopers. Now, obviously, I just don't have these in the main display until the holidays come around. But that is my entire Star Wars Black Series collection. Just to recap with you guys, it goes A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. We have our Clone Wars display down there. Prequel stuff, sequel trilogy with Kenobi. But over here we have one, two, three full shelves of Empire, The Mandalorian, Disney Plus series, Jedi Fallen Order, Rebels, Andor and Rogue One, and our Legends shelf. And again guys, those are the Billy bookcases from Ikea. Here's the final shot. That is the entire Star Wars Black Series collection. About eight years worth of collecting. Thank you guys so much for checking out the display. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys have been picking up. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new. We appreciate all of our subscribers. Thank you guys for 14,000 subs. However, if you'd like to support us in a more direct way, we do offer a channel membership for 99 cents a month. There is a link to that in the description. You get some custom emoji, the clone trooper loyalty badges next to your name that changes battalions based Based on how long you've been a member so join that channel membership also join our discord great community in there we also have a small collection of merch there are links for everything in the description thank you guys so much for watching i've been justin from out of the basement and we will see you guys next time